Hey everybody, so today I decided just to like film just a quick like a watercolor illustration of like this um, girl with like curly hair that like cascades and like lightens as it transitions into the light and the background. So here you see I'm just trying to blend all the color um, like together because the first part at the top like the forehead that part had like the most pigment as you see it's like the darkest part so that part I wanted to like try to blend and you know get it evenly with the rest of the skin so here I'm adding more pigment as I'm moving upwards but at the same time like trying to bend it all together but I also want to add in that <clears throat> I apologize for like the problems with like the video with like how as you see here it's like two bars on the sides I'm trying to figure out that problem because on my previous videos it seems totally fine so fine but on these videos it's like I don't even know what's happening it probably has something to do with um how like I'm filming with my camera but yeah like this time I decided to um, like turn my camera kind of like the direction where it's facing me but at the same time it's like I don't know I can't describe it but it's just a different direction this time but I see that this direction I used does not work so I think I may try like the directions that I did the other times in my previous videos and see how that worked but anyway Back to the video. Um, right now, I'm just like watering down some of like the layers because I did about like at least three layers on this painting because it was like the skin color wasn't getting like the richness and the the look that I wanted. So, especially here on the neck, you see it's a struggle to blend. So here, that's after like the third layer dry so I just decided to let that dry some more and move on to the hair so I did the first layer which was like a light gray color but I still was like able to see my Pinterest sketches underneath so what I did was I just took like straight black um, watercolor pigment and I just like did the areas of her afro that's like um, going around her face. And as it's like reaching the, the ends, it's more of like a grayish color, but still like a dark color, darker than this light gray, which is the first layer here. So here, I'm just using my brush to add tiny details at the bottom. And everywhere else and now I'm starting to take it outwards from the dark like black color and work its way all the way outwards and that's entirely how I did one side where I just did like entirely black pigment in the front by the face and as like I'm going outwards it gets lighter and I tried to do like a smooth transition and I think it looks pretty darn good. So here I'm just like doing the hair light bang part like one around the ears. And you see on the other side, the first side I did, I decided to take the ear away. So it's just like cascading around her face other than the ear. And here is like where it just like all fell like downwards because the ear right there 
Like I tried to make it look like it was going past the ear. And it fell. So, I just decided to get rid of the ear <laughs> by doing black pigment over it. So, still continuing with the main thing of taking black pigment and going around the hair. And here I'm just fixing the shape of the face while painting. And it's really just the same process as I used for the first side. And I watered down my brush as I um, took it to the outside to get that light gray color. And here I'm just like adding like an outline of where I want my inking to be or I was deciding if I wanted to like ink it with like my brush. But I decided just to do like kind of some shading with the brush. So that's what excuse me. That's what I'm doing. So here I added some shading to the nose. And you can see in like the part of the hair, I did a little bit of like edges, like the way that the Martin act um edges look these days. So that's the way I did it. So then here I took like a it's like a marine type color that I had and I just watered that down and mixed it in a little bit with some green and it turned to like this pretty like light green blue color once I watered it down some more and I used that to kind of lightly shade her like white shirt but now it's more of like a white and like bluish color shirt but same difference so here see me like coloring like the first layer of the eyes which was like a first first it was like a blue color and then like the second and third layers it became like a green color and I really like like that and here I'm trying to add like shading at the top and keep like the my like, main watery parts of when I was doing the um watercolor of the eyes like in the center to keep the idea of a pupil so here I'm just inking the eyes and I kind of messed up on the left eye there, the kind the eye that's like that's supposed to be like the illusion of like her looking to the side. I kind of messed up on this, I mean that one. This one here was like pretty fine, like I did the <clears throat> the eyeliner all right and everything. And I drew in um eyelashes. But when I got to that left eye here, <laughs> it went all downhill. <laughs> so I tried to like work it by adding more eyelashes. And at first I wasn't going to like um, ink the pupils. But then I just decided to, to like add attention to the pupils other than the eye. And then the eye just started looking real dirt like really derpy on the left so I decided just to color in the little like pink part that's inside the eye and it kind of worked and then I like um, used my pen to like deepen the blackness around it and it just like made the eyeliner look so thick so then I had to thicken the eyeliner in the right eye to try to match it up and then here I'm kind of like Inking a little bit of the nose, not as much as I usually do. And just a little bit of like indication of the movement of like the mouth and the direction that it's going. And I forgot to mention that I actually used a smaller brush than I was using um, with the hair, which is like a Dale Ronnie brush. And that's what I use for the hair and the details in here. So. So that's about it for this video. So make sure you subscribe and like this video.